The push to legalize medical marijuana in North Carolina may be on the rocks. For the second year in a row, the measure broke down in the state house despite popularity with voters. WRAL state government reporter Travis Fain is here now with how this happened. Travis, it seemed like it was on its way. The bill passed the state Senate with bipartisan support in early March. Any movement since then? So not a ton of movement. It did get a hearing in the House, but it just doesn't seem to be getting over the finish line with more conservative Republicans in the House. And it's got support, but not enough to move forward. It hasn't gotten this vote yet. It's coming up on the end of session. We'll just have to wait and see. But like you said, it, it's popular. It's something like 72 percent of people in a poll we did last year supported medical marijuana in North Carolina. What's the sticking point for the more conservative members? It, it might be a case of just they've been asked to do too much so far this mm. session. You know, we've legalized sports gambling. We took that vote, uh, expanded Medicaid, which for many years Republicans were against. Uh, we've also uh, did an abortion bill that did not go as far as some social conservatives wanted to see it go. So there is some belief that maybe this just is a bridge too far, too much to ask. Does that mean it's a dead issue, at least for this session? Absolutely not. They, the problem with trying to determine what's going to happen in a legislative session is nothing is dead until it's over. This is probably going to go into mid-July. The medical marijuana bill is supported by a really powerful member of the state Senate. He's going to have influence over this. So it's not over yet. We have heard some pretty powerful testimony, too. I thought it swayed folks, maybe just in the state Senate at this point. All right, Travis Fain in studio for us. Thank you.